today we're gonna spill some tea joking we're just gonna drink it because guess what I'm still sick this isn't even tea also I don't know if you can hear but I've put some uncopyrighted music on just because I don't like getting ready to dead silence I like something playing so I thought I can't obviously play songs so I'm gonna play some uncopyrighted music you probably can't even hear it but I can so it's keeping me a bit entertained all right so I might be a bit selfish but today I thought I would do a updated everyday makeup I think I've made two of these videos in the past this will be different to the two that I've made before because I I regularly update what I do every day hey <clears throat> so my everyday makeup doesn't consist of a lot of products I might zoom you up is that even English I might zoom you up that's a bit better as you can probably tell I have done my eyebrows my eyebrow routine has not changed since I did my eyebrow routine video hopefully that's not loud it's pretty loud here just turn it out a bit. Yes, it hasn't changed. So the products that I do use is the Goof Proof Pencil by Benefit. And then I use the shade Dark Horse from the Smashbox Ablaze Eyeshadow Palette. So it's just this one down here. So I just use that one and I just fill in my brows a bit. It's the same as, as I said, the video. So if you want to go check that out, you can. And then what has changed, which is why... I have put this in is now I use the benefit 24-hour brow setter so this is a sample one that I got from Sephora as a free gift uh, but it has lasted quite a while so far as benefits products usually do so after I've done that I then just put a bit of this in it which is what I will do right about now the only thing I don't like about the brow setter is it's often hard to open because when you wipe off the gel um, off the spoolie in here it gets stuck around the lid and then it kind of clamps together you can get it undone but you just need a little bit of muscle strength so this has two spoolies which I think is really good they have a kind of bigger one up the top you can't really see it and then a small one down the bottom I use the smaller one because I do have small brows but I can imagine if you have thick bushy brows you'd use the top one or also when I went to benefit one of the ladies there said to me that you can use this big one to brush back baby hairs and I thought that's bloody great so I'm just gonna brush through my brows I've just wiped it off because it does clump a bit and I don't quite like that all right so I just kind of brush through them after my shower I always put on Egyptian magic so this is a cream uh, that you put all over your face just gives you a radiant look uh, that will shine through from underneath your makeup so put that on and then I basically just go over the red spots and kind of blemishes on my face with the Marc Jacobs accomplice concealer it's very thick and I love that about it because what it does is you don't need to use a lot and also for an everyday look it's perfect you don't need to wear foundation I don't wear foundation in my everyday makeup anymore which is why I wanted to do an updated one because it's quite a bit different I basically just go over the spots on my face that have a bit of blemishes and with a beauty blender I just blend it out and I know Marc Jacobs is an expensive brand but once you actually use their products, you realise that they're only expensive because they last. Sorry you can't really see this side of my face, I'm just kind of doing the same. I kind of do like an owl on both sides because I do have quite a few blemishes down the bottom of my face. Which is fine. And then I kind of do another owl. It's like I do two owls on each side and then I'll do a little triangle here which you'll see in a moment. And then I do like a little triangle underneath here the only places I don't put concealer 
is on my nose because my nose doesn't really have any blemishes. If anything, I'll pop a little bit here just on the bridge of my nose just because it is a little bit red there. And I'll do it a bit up here. Like I'll just blend that out up here to this little spot here. But I won't put it on my nose. I won't put it underneath my eyes or on my eyelids because I don't really have that many blemishes on my eyes or anything like that. So I'm just doing another triangle on this side. Illuminati confirmed. I'll just kind of blend that up. I kind of blend it up to here. Because as I said, it goes a long way. So you don't really have to put a lot. And then on my head, I kind of just do something like that. A little, a little work of art. Because my head's pretty good. I don't really need to put anything on my head. Because my head's alright. But just so it kind of this. I've covered all bases of my face. I put just a tiny bit on my head and I do have a kind of red spot here on my forehead. So sometimes I put a little bit more just on that little red spot. And then lastly, I always have pimples here and here on my face. So I'll just put a tiny bit on each side and sometimes go in with my little beauty blender because it is a small place and I don't want to ruin my eyebrows because I do my eyebrows first. Now that I'm done with the concealer, I go in with just a pressed powder by Astralis, the fresh and flawless one. This is in the shade Natural. The concealer I just used is the lighter shade, so it's Fair 10 because if you know me, I'm pale. I just use my Morphe E52 brush to pack on some powder just over where I put the concealer. So I put this here and on my forehead. And then with a smaller E42 Morphe brush, I do the uh, little parts of my forehead so I don't ruin my eyebrows. Little parts of my forehead, little parts of my face, and also just above my eyebrow and down the side. My eyebrows, they just take a lot of work because they just, sometimes they just in a mind of their own. I'm like, can you not do that right now? I raised you. I know I overplucked you once upon a time, but I raised you and this is what you do to me. I don't I don't accept it. Makeup artist, but it doesn't have time to do her makeup. I hardly ever do looks, and I think that's because I'd just rather do other people's makeup than mine. So like hit me up if you want me to do your makeup, because I'll do it. Like I'd rather do it than I'd do mine. I just realized I didn't say hi, welcome back to my channel. I forget half the time, honestly. Just to kind of finish off the look, I do a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of highlight. So the bronzer I use is the Remmel Sun Shimmer. I absolutely love this bronzer. The lid's broken, but I just love it for a natural look. So I just use my Morphe R7 brush. Mm. I just put a little bit in the J on my face. So the J is like... Just for those of you who were like, what are you talking about, you nutcase? Put a little bit there, put a little bit underneath my jaw. We want to lie to people and pretend that we have a chiseled jaw. So that's what we're going to do. You just kind of do it quickly and kind of don't really care too much about it because it is an everyday look. I just also do a bit on my forehead because I do have a bigger forehead. And again, we want to make the illusion that we don't have a big forehead. And then we have an actual really small forehead and that people are the ones who need to go to Specsavers. So I finished the rest of my kind of bronzer. I know it doesn't look like much and... It's really not because we want it to look as natural as possible. And I don't know, this angle, it's getting like dark. I don't think you can really see. The second last step is to add highlight. Uh, so depending on how tired I am, I put highlight on. So highlight always makes me look more awake. Uh, so if we haven't got enough sleep, this is definitely a must. This is the... Mary Luminizer by The Balm Cosmetics. I love this highlight and it's such a natural highlight and that's what we want because we want a natural everyday look. So I put some on my Cupid's bow. Some, I've <laughs> just put so much, but that's what we do. We put a lot, we put some on the chin, kind of like our high points of our face. 
We put some on our nose. Then we put some on our upper cheeks. So then we kind of just put the excess on our forehead and around here. Uh, the reason why I don't put a lot on my forehead and around here is because I have a big forehead and highlight makes things bigger. So if you do have a big nose, if you do have a big forehead, don't be putting heaps on because you it'll just make it look bigger. And then lastly, I put a bit underneath my brows and kind of on the upper lid of my eye just to make our eyebrows pop. I forgot that this is my everyday routine. It's like I'm telling people what to do, but you don't have to listen to me. You never do. Whatever I say, you don't need to listen. You don't need to do. Just do what makes you happy and that'll make me happy, essentially. Last step is mascara. The mascara I use every day is the Tarte Tardius. This is the mini one because I got it in a pack, but I absolutely love it. I think it's a really good mascara. Very similar to the Benefit Bad Gal Bang, and that is honestly probably my favorite mascara ever, but I don't have it at the moment. I ran out. Uh, but first, I curl my lashes because they are not naturally curled. If they are naturally curled, I'd leave out this step. But as you can see, it does so much to your lashes if you do curl them. So if you don't have a curler, I'd recommend one if your lashes don't normally curl. And what you do is you just hold it on there and kind of press it until you like how curled they are. Sometimes I go in twice, which is what I've done today. And then I will just go in with some mascara. That's what we like for an everyday look. Like that, and then on the bottom lashes a little bit. You don't want to go too full on for the lashes on an everyday look. And just if you have any clunks, just kind of pull them out with your fingers. Camera just died again, but I'm quickly going to do the outro. I also realised that I didn't have any music playing in the last clip, so I'm sorry about that. What I forgot to mention is that I'll also put some lip balm on my lips for my everyday makeup routine. That's all. It's very simple, as you can see. Nothing much to it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye!